really important on a curbless shower in my mind is that the entire bathroom floor is uh, waterproof, but at the very least, just having it three feet outside of the shower. There's many, many curbless showers that I've seen where the plywood is all kind of rotten right outside of the floor area. And there's a good reason for why that can happen. And a lot of it comes through capillary water movement, which is helped by the thin set layer. So water gets underneath the tile and then the thin set wants to draw the water out of it because it's wicking into the thin set layer and then pulling that water outside of the shower areas. Um, pointing out a way to eliminate that problem and it's basically just separating the thin set layer. So when you tile here, you can just seal the tile to the membrane and then that will like at least create a void between the waterproofing material on the inside and the outside and, and separating that thin set layer so that the thin set can't pull the water outside of the shower area. You could also have a problem if your outside floor isn't level. Say for instance, say if you didn't raise this up this other quarter inch and you just put a membrane right over this the way it is right now, that means that outside of here is lower than right here. So having that, you know, it's just like putting a hose in here, siphoning your water out. So once enough of a water flow gets siphoned through that thin set layer, it could just keep pulling water out of that shower area. And it's not gonna be a lot, it's just gonna accumulate every day. If you're taking a shower every single day, multiple showers a day, you know, that adds up and then it becomes a problem. So it's not like it happens all at once, it usually, you end up having air problems three months down the line. Um, and I'm saying this from experience because I've had some curbless shower systems that had not necessarily failed in the pan itself, but where there was water underneath the tile outside of the floor. And it seemed impossible that can happen, but it can. And the main reason is, is if the water is not escaping underneath of this tile and you're getting buildup of water in that, in that system, it's just gonna go to the lowest point. And then once it starts, once it gets an avenue of how to do that, it'll just keep pulling it out of the shower and then you'll end up with water on the outside of your shower. So I hope I explained that well enough. I can get into more details on that on a more pointed video, but it's just something you really have to pay attention to with the curbless showers. If you have a curb shower, no issues there. You have basically a four inch wall that you're preventing anything from coming over.